Hello guys and welcome back to episode 38 of our Satisfactory Let's Play series and today we're going to be sorting out wet concrete. Which means we're going to be harvesting all of the limestone in this area. But you may remember that last week we'd already started building it. Unfortunately, the trees got in the way. So today we're tasked with getting rid of it all. So we're going to be jumping down and you, you know, pretty much the same as last time, going around and hopefully destroying every single tree in this area, even this bush, even you. So as you can see, we have a nobelisk already planted. I'm loving the detail on that, by the way. But the important thing is, I think we're pretty much set for blowing this whole area up. And with any luck, we can take out this little rock, which is just randomly in the middle and just annoying me. So hopefully, I, I know, I know it won't work, but I'm just hoping, all right? <laughs> Don't take this away from me. But hopefully we'll be able to destroy all of the spy. There we go. So, oh, I'm still there. I'm still known by the rock. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, oh, hopefully I'm still alive. Oh, dear. But you can see that we've been relatively uh, successful by the looks of it. Just getting rid of all of that. Oh, I think there goes me. Yeah, I can see a death grade. <laughs> I'm just, I can't do anything. <laughs> I broke the game. Oh, I broke the game. I had this terrible nightmare that I was planting explosives and then accidentally set it off with me next to it. What happened? Well, it's uh, looking a lot clearer up here, which is good, but um, <laughs> we still need some more noblesque. I just, I hope that we don't make the same mistake that we did last time. So we have managed to get ev everything back. We've got our like death crate and we've also been able to grab some nobelisk and prepare everything for the, that's a really nice rock. I, I'm just, I'm going off piece here. Like that was not the plan. The plan is to blow up the rest of this. And you know what? We did it. Yes. <laughs> so now, the theory is that we can build our little factory here. How sweet. We'll start by bringing this out. We'll add a, another miner over there, and then we're going to be running some water extractors under here, as well as a train station. So hopefully we'll be able to get this up and running pretty quickly. So I've started doing the foundations. We're gonna run it across here to the other limestone nodes, but we're also gonna do, you, you can see me using this a lot in the, in the factory design at the moment, but we're going to add a ramp up this side, then a single in the middle. Hopefully this will be just over, mm, maybe. If we do that, we're fine. So as you can see here, we are building the platform for where the train station will go, and then hopefully all of the concrete will flow in from underneath the track. Um, and then we can obviously have the, the train wrap back on itself. We've also done a fair bit of work on the other side in terms of the foundation laying. As you can see, we've got the front part of the factory, which is probably where the, the vast majority of the refineries will be, unless we can fit them below. Thank you, autosave. And the other thing is obviously we still have the rock still in here. So what I'm going to be doing is if we grab this double ramp, I think what we're going to do is have a little... Hmm. Yeah, we'll probably run platform along here, which kind of spotlights this. And this, ooh, this might have to come out further. But the idea is that it kind of... Yeah, I think we're gonna move all of this, never do this during a recording, along here, then do the smaller one followed by the larger one here. That will actually work well because it will cover up that big rock in the middle. Yeah, we're just gonna run the walkway, like this little canal down here, straight to this rock, and then we'll like have a little open area here. Yeah, I think that'd be quite nice. Yeah. It's also a really nice entrance spot. Perfect little runway here. Beautiful, beautiful, B-E-A-utiful. So as you can see, we've now done three water extractors. These are going to produce a total of 400 water, which means that the one nearest to us on the right is going to be overclocked to 150%, and then all of it's going to run up to the platform where I shall now place four refineries. So it's only gonna be a small one, but that will in itself, I think produce, I want to say 400 concrete, is that right? Let's just place one down and check. No, 
360 concrete per minute. No, 320 concrete per minute. Goodness me. My, my, my maths is slipping today. Either way, that's going to be plenty for us to uh, use over there in our build, hopefully. So as you can see, we've got the four machines running, producing 360 concrete per minute, which is going to go to the train station over there. What I will me mention is that we have got three extra train stations that are just not being in use there, freight stations. So eventually we will add more to this particular factory. As you can see, this, this factory is pretty empty for the time being, but we will be adding more and we will be decorating it more. We, we've got stuff that we still want to do here. But that is, but this concrete is going to go a long way to helping us out. Speaking of which, as for the outside of the, the factory, I mean, it looks pretty cool. It fits in with the general aesthetic of a lot of our builds at the moment. I do want to, I think we need to redo the supports a little bit. I think there's a few too many. And I also need to make it look more supported underneath. But that's something that we need to do with pretty much all of our rails. So this looks very, very light below the actual build at the moment. We're going to add a lot more and make it look much more like it fits into the actual setting, the factory itself. Um, but that's something we'll do for all the rails at some point as well. Which means, of course, once we've got the, the train station sorted out by the, the fuel generators, we can actually start shipping that to us directly. Yeah, the next thing that we're going to be doing is sending that all the way over here so that we can get on with these fuel generators. We've got a lot to do. Another 300 and 30 I think of them in total so whew, no rest for the wicked. So what we're doing right now is going to be adding a rail line hopefully all the way to the actual factory area and from there we're going to be unloading the concrete because we're going to be using a lot and we'll make that into a nice little station for this which will then hopefully loop back around to this particular station where we will also need to finish working on that and maybe bring some more concrete into that area to make it just a dedicated concrete factory. So the first thing that we're going to be doing here is removing this then placing a new line which will run parallel to the, the line that we've currently got just slightly apart which means we're also gonna have to do something with this hmm grab one of these place that along there move that place that one there then maybe we'll do something here and of course we need to do the same on this side is that gonna be right I'm trying to work out how no yeah we need to turn that round there and then that so this is how we're going to run the line across and then we'll need to bring it along i think the river like the 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 waterfall area i want to try and make it look nice within the the nature that we've got so the train station is now ready well built we still need to huck up the lines but that's going to be where all the concrete gets brought in and also any other extra resources that we produce in that area um, but the next thing that we need to do is a little storage area for that concrete and then we're going to also make this look a little bit prettier because I feel we've been kind of missing out on the aesthetics for the builds recently. So let's work on that. So as you can see, we've uh, started work on the station. We're going for a slightly different look and I think this will actually blend eventually into this section of the factory with the, the refineries as well. Something that I think could work quite nicely. Of course, I do need to make sure I know where I'm going to be storing all of the concrete and stuff. We actually have them coming out here, but we'll probably, actually we might move them on top and have the storage area on top of the factory but I am aware that I have incorrectly put one of the spaces on those towers never mind I can sort that out now so we have now built the track it's not complete in terms of the actual decoration but the actual functionality should work perfectly now except for we need to work out what we're doing with the resources that come in once we've stored them, are we going to sink them? That might be our only option for the time being, but we'll see. We'll see. Let's get to doing the rest of the station now. So one thing that I do want to do is kind of house this all within a factory. And so what we've been doing here is adding another wall. And you can see that we've got some, uh, we're using almost these pillars, um, these, these doorways as like pillars. Now this is something that I've seen in one of the fan factories that I really enjoyed recently. Um, and then this one up here, I've you'll be seeing soon in a fan factory. But I think it looks great having the two different wall types and the mismatch between them. 
and also giving it that depth. It's something that can just really add to the look and feel of your factory without doing that much work towards it. As you can see, the roofs aren't really merging together that well, but I think overall having several designated factories are gonna look pretty good with this. Uh, separate roof design. Um, I'm quite happy, quite excited for it really. Coming along quite nicely and certainly fits, well I'd say fits it in with the style that we're going for even though it's totally different. Though I haven't finished doing it you can see what we're kind of going for. So we've got the white walls along with the, the glasses and then we've also got this line if I zoom in you can see of these rails followed by the grey walls. Now I don't really use them but they can work really well as just a single separate line and they also look great when you partner them with something that really gives it depth like you can see here using those curved um, half wall uh, half wall ramps half pipe walls even foundation I don't even know and of course after we've uh, fixed this wall around here we do need to go over the actual train station and make sure that fits in fully with this style build as well so as you can see we are now working on the pipes on the outside we want to bring them all inside and we have done that and it's relatively clean but the problem is actually inside where we're trying to get all the pipes to go to the said refineries. So what we're doing here is bringing all the pipes along the wall and then we're going to pull them across whoop, to where they need to be. You can see how this one just sinks immediately in. That's because we're using the vertical uh, build system and we're going to pull them along, hopefully bring them down to this level and then pull them across to here as well for each of these, if all goes to plan. So as you can see, the pipes are now all organized. I did get asked why I didn't do it from the top down, which would have looked a little bit neater, let's be honest, but I'm happy with how things are at the moment. The next thing that we need to do, of course, is to get under here and place some valves. And that's because there is a pipe uh, bug at the moment with flow rate. So by placing a valve before each junction um, will just stop the water flowing back and causing any problems. But we need to do that on each one of these. And then to finish off, we do need to add some pumps just outside of here, um, but I'm not quite sure where as of yet. So as you can see, we are running along here and we're just placing these. We don't need to adjust them because they're just going to control the flow direction rather than how much is going in in each section. Uh, but should you wish, you can do. Also, I've only used the Mark II pipes at the very start because we're needing, I think it's 390 um, fuel in this and the first three refineries need um, the fuel. Now after that, we'll go from a Mark II to Mark I's. Just got a lot of this to do. So we have now finished this build and in theory, everything should be running. We do need to, to start some of this going so that we can actually get the fuel generators running because we are teetering on the edge of power. Uh, absolutely teetering on the edge. In fact, let's have a look. We produce 5,100 and we're using, uh, this goes up and down, 4,900 and that's without me using my hover pack currently. So yeah, yeah, this could be a problem seeing as we haven't got any of the other refineries on. <laughs> We're going to need to create a new power plant. Look, and we are actually draining our batteries. Uh, that's worrying. So we're now ready to give this a try, more or less. So we have the first half of pipes that lead to the, the factory here. We're actually only going to use the far right one, just this one here. And if I've done my um, logistics correctly, that should lead up to this heavy oil residue pipe here, which will run all the way along to the refineries over in the background. But the next thing that we need to do uh, with that is actually to sort out um, packages for packaged water, which we can then take uh, for the diluted fuel. So I need to turn that on and I need to get some plastic or can empty canisters on the line for that. So we're just gonna set up a very basic system right now. So we've now got the water extractors running and I've just realized we're really like going through our like energy really quickly so I'm going to have to go back to the base which means I'm going to be switching off each and every single one of these with the exception of the plastic maybe because we need them for canisters this this here is the important thing let's have a look let's see we're consuming 5,300 5,200 we've got to get it below that let's do this please work Coming down, it's coming down. 4,200. Okay, so we've gained ourselves about 1,400 in terms of power. I could potentially switch off, oh, I don't know, what else? The aluminium plant? Yes, that could work. 
and then hopefully we'll be able to start producing a little bit of uh, power for the generators and then slowly we'll scale that up. So next thing is we're going to use all of this plastic that we're generating exclusively for empty canisters and hopefully we can fill the whole system up. This is going to take a while, I know, but hopefully it will uh, work for us perfectly. I'm also going to set up a temporary battery supply or power bank here just to, to help us keep running uh, whilst we're getting everything sorted. Fingers crossed that will be enough. Who knows? Well, would you look at that? We have built a power bank. So this really is just a very simple power bank with the I can't re remember what these are called. Power supplies? Power storage? Power storage, right? Uh, we've got, I think, five deep and five across. So it's a nice little grid, although we've only got the front row done here. Uh, but this will give us enough power, hopefully, once it's fully stored, it's going to take us an hour and a half to give us a little bit of leeway with that over there once we get that running. The next thing we need to do, though, is to create some canisters. As for where we're going to build the um, empty canisters, we're going to be doing it probably in either this location here or possibly just a bit further along at where the packages are, just in this section here. I'm not quite sure which one yet, but we will be doing that next week because uh, that's it for today, more or less. So we're just going to look over what we've already done. So the first thing that we did was sort out the concrete factory. So we are using the wet concrete alternate recipe and we're getting all of that sent to this train, which is actually just loading, funnily enough. And it is all being brought down to the train station just here. We haven't sorted out a awesome sink or a storage area for it for the time being, but we have instead worked on the exterior design. And as you can see here, we've done the decoration. We've got the, we haven't finished the train station section yet, but we have uh, done this refinery setup, which is now ready to run. So under this side, we have a slight slope. And then on the other side, we have this wonderful wall design, uh, which I, I really like actually. And I love the, the slight depth that it has. It just breaks it up from the monotony of just a straight up wall. And the other thing that we did was pipe all of this up. Like we said, it's now running well, we'll be running once we get the fuel in there. And we've also done the valves all along here so that we shouldn't have any like flow issues. We'll, we'll soon find out. Uh, there are also pumps on the other side and hopefully this will just run smoothly. And of course, like we've just done, we have done the power storage supply here. But that is all we have time for in this video. So if you did enjoy it, please do drop a thumbs up. And obviously if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. And special thanks does go to our amazing supporters, most notably our Solar Eclipse Patrons, The Calamity and Cerebral Tag, as well as our Lunar Eclipse Patrons, Dixie Chris and James Irwin, as well as our Blood Moon of the Day, which today is Kareev Johnny. Anyway, guys, until next time, as always, ciao for now.